All right, hey guys, what's up? We're out here in Countryland. I'm here with my friend Jalal. Yo, Jalal, when was the last time you were in a vlog of mine? Do you remember? I believe it was one of the first ones. Second vlog, Jalal was featured, and then he made a reappearance in the Dubai vlog. Yeah. That's pretty sick. And then I got Mo with me here, Mo. And what's uh, up? Yeah, so we're out here in Countryland. We're um, doing a comparison test between the Mavic Air that I own and the Mavic Mini 2 that Mo recently got. Yes, drone life, baby. There's no one here. We have this place all to ourselves. We've got this nice water body, this bridge in the background, and um, we got the the drones right here. And I'll do some. Uh, I'll talk to you guys more about the drones in a bit, but just um, just appreciate these drone shots for now, all right? I don't Why the Mavic Mini 2? And tell me like which drones were you considering before this drone? So the new Mavic Mini 2 actually just came out so like it was more of like a thing that you know it has new features like as compared I was considering the Mavic Mini before as well um, so the Mavic Mini 2 actually has OcuSync now which is actually way way much better I can fly out much longer but I was considering like the Hubs and Zeno I was considering the Anafi Parrot as well um, but for me like it was more of like something that was compact and I could just take everywhere like more of like you know just film almost everywhere with ease of like movement <laughs> yeah, it's probably it's probably got caught in a lock like kind of thing. Did that hurt? Yeah, I love you. Did. <laughs> that should be part of the vlog. It will be. <laughs> oh, it's true. Mo was asking me what drone he should get, and I was uh, giving him some recommendations between the Mavic Air and the Mavic Mini. And I recommended him the Mavic Air before the Mini 2 came out, only because it was under 250 grams which means that you can legally fly without a drone license. Obviously, Mo does not have a license. I do, because I have the Mavic Air. It's more than 250 grams. But yeah, a good reason for beginner drone pilots to get the Mini Series or especially the Mini 2 because it's under 250 grams. It's really like, it's 249 grams on dot. And as you can see, it's like tiny. It's super tiny, super lightweight. The Mavic Air is not that big, but it's over 250 grams one thing i don't like about the mini 2 is the controller but the good thing is that it comes with ocusync 2.0 whereas my drone just flies over wi-fi which is not very like uh, stable i flew in the drone and yeah it's very like responsive compared to my mavic air so that's something i like but let's talk about some drawbacks for the mini 2 we'll talk that along the way kind of cold but it's kind of expected when you live in Canada what can you do I travel a lot and uh, I like the balance between portability and video quality Mo on the other hand is not a videographer but he likes that portability of the drone also the drone regulations of course but the thing about the thing about the Mavic Mini 2 is that um, when it comes to portability you're um, there's some uh, stuff that you're missing out of in terms of like video quality. You're not getting 120 FPS in 1080p, you're just getting 60. That's fine, doesn't matter. But what you're missing out on is uh, 
picture profiles so like if you're into color grading um, you just have one standard uh, picture profile from what we've seen you don't have a uh, active uh, tracking that's one thing missing out if you're into that but you have those um, camera modes like um, orbital modes boomerang rocket shots you have all of that but if you're a new drone user or you want to get into drones I wouldn't recommend the Mavic Air anymore because uh, that's old technology get the Mavic Mini 2 instead because OcuSync 2.0 that's a big factor when it comes to drones because you don't want to be in like three kilometers up in the air uh, relying on Wi-Fi transmission and then having the drone lose signal on you because I've been there I've done that I was in Iceland uh, over on top of a waterfall when that happened I was like uh, two kilometers away getting that perfect shot and it was like super terrible conditions w windy water everywhere super bad and then yeah my drone disconnected for a second and I had like a mini heart attack so yeah OcuSync 2.0 super responsive very good with the signal transmission huge factor